highlights honestly let's just let's just roll with the default settings for once um cancel bug, bug. all right guys welcome back to uh my absolute beginner series for fusion 360 um today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a well, it's essentially a pipe. Um, uh, so it's kind of like an upgrade or an updated version of the uh, previous pipe design we did. Um, this one has kind of like an S shape, as you can see. And so we're just going to be figuring out how to be doing that. And um, uh, that will be using the sweep feature, which... Uh, is a new feature we haven't used yet, so I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Um, aside from that, it's pretty straightforward, and so um, I'm sure you guys will figure it out quickly. Um, and it's useful for many applications, pipes, but you can also use it to make support pieces for um, parts that you're designing and printing. All right, so uh, that aside, let's just uh, close this and get right into um making a new one so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a sketch in well let's just make it the xy plane keep it nice and simple we're going to make two circles we could dimension these circles so let's make this one 80 we can make this one 100 all right, and that's all we need for our first sketch. For our second sketch, we can just go ahead and select another plane. It should not be in the same plane as your first sketch, by the way. This is like a cross-sectional profile, and then you're going to sweep this through a path that's going to be going through another plane. Um, it can be one of these two planes, the, uh, what is it, YZ or XZ but it cannot be the XY. You can also make your own plane. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. So for now we'll just go through the XZ plane and we'll create a sketch here. And I'm going to start off with a line. All right. And then we're going to want an arc. Um, I prefer doing it with a three-point arc. Um, whatever floats your boat, it's really up to you. Um, let's get another arc in here. Um, yeah, I just like to select my uh, first point um, at, you know, wherever it is I'm working. With a center point arc, you have to select your center point first, and I don't know, that just doesn't make sense to me, but, you know, whatever works for you. All right. So that's just going to be the general shape of our path right there. So the next thing we do is we start applying some constraints. So for example, we want that to be tangent, that to be tangent, that to be tangent, and that to be tangent. That should be uh, horizontal. And then we can make these two equal, I guess. And the final thing we're going to do is start dimensioning. So we can make this... I don't know, let's make it a hundred. Um, this one, we can make that 50, and that's 50. Real quick, let's just move this up so that it's in a reasonable position. We can make that one a hundred as well. And finally, there's this segment, which we can make 50. All right. So now that's fully defined. We've uh, applied our constraints, and we've applied our dimensions. Um, by the way, feel free to pause the video if it ever feels like I'm moving too fast. Um, and if you ever have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below or... Um, you know, check out some of my other videos if you
you feel totally lost because um, I have helpful information in there as well. Anyway, this completes our uh, our path right here. So um, we just need we just needed you know kind of a line that designates how this is going to extrude out. So we're going to finish our sketch, and we can go ahead and take a look at our home view. And so we can see that this is going to kind of go along this curve over and go back up in kind of an S shape. So we'll select our sweep uh, feature. And our profile is just going to be this cross-sectional sliver right here. And our path is going to be our sketch right here. And as you can see, our... Uh, just using the default settings, we kind of get everything that we need right here. So we can just go ahead, go ahead and select OK. If you take a look, then we have our um, S-shaped pipe. Um, of course, you can always alter the uh, settings for whatever it is you're doing so that it, you know it works out better or whatever um, for your application. But um, this is just how I would do it. Of course, um, if you wanted to add a coupling, you can always just uh, select one of the surfaces, add um, at one of the ends, and then just create a sketch. And draw two circles, one that meets with the outside surface, and another one that goes a little bit beyond. Uh, you can just dimension the distance between them. And I guess we can make that 20 or 25, maybe. Make it a little bit thicker. And I guess this is not a, what is it, co-radial, whatever it is. Um, so we can just select the equal and there it's uh fully defined we can finish that and we can just for this we can just extrude it because it's going to be along a uh, parallel surface and we want it to kind of mate along this surface as well so we'll do two sides and the first side um, I'm just going to throw in a number so we can see which direction it is. Alright, so this first side, we can go like maybe 40. The other side, we can go like 30. Alright, and as you can see with the default features, it kind of makes what we want already. So we can just select OK. there it is. That's how you would make uh, one side. Actually, it's kind of thick, so we can... Thick. It's kind of thick. So we can go ahead and edit our sketch. And uh, let's see. We can make that 20. Honestly, even less than that, like... Ten, is that too small? No, honestly, that's fine. All right, and so that is how I would make a pipe in the S shape um, using the uh, what is it? The sweep feature, and of course you can do it on the other side too if you wanted a female end here. Um, but I guess I just figured I'd make this one an adapter. It's the same principle, really. You don't need to see me do it again. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave a comment down below. If, you know, this is kind of your jam, you like seeing this kind of stuff, um, you know, 
feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, maybe you want to see me make something or you're confused about how to make something else, totally unrelated, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can get to it. Thanks for watching, guys.